Are you looking for a hack to remove any type of charge off off any of your credit reports? Well, follow me. Let me show you. Here at ASAP Credit Repair, we've perfected the process over 10 years. In fact, it took us seven years to be able to do this. I'm gonna give away the steps now. Step one, go to identityiq.com. Now create an account. Full disclosure, if you use our link in our profile, it'll give you a free trial, allow you to pull your credit reports for free. Step two, after you create your account, click on view latest credit report. Step three, download this credit report. Step four, print the credit report by clicking right click and click print. Now, the reason I say you should print the credit report is just so that you have a better way to view it and you can see each section of the credit report. If you don't have a printer or can't do it, not a problem. Now, I want you to screenshot this letter. It's important to remove all your personal information that is not valid or not accurate to today, meaning any previous addresses you should have none. You should only have the address that you're actually living at right now. And the real reason why we want to remove these addresses is because they're probably tied to old collection accounts or derogatory accounts that are going to stay on your credit report and make it easier for them to validate if we don't remove the old address. Now, if the address on your ID does not reflect this address that you want to keep on your credit report, then you're going to need to include a copy or a proof of your address, like a phone bill or utility bill with your disputes. All right, so we're going to send out that personal dispute letter, create it yourself. It's very simple and easy as I showed in the screenshot earlier. The next thing I want you to do is screenshot this letter right here. It's important that these dispute letters, you create them as your own. Do not use template-based letters like the ones you'll find online because that is the number one reason why most people do not get results for credit repair. Number two is this is called a validation letter. What this basically does is request proof from the original creditor or the data furnisher to make sure that this count that they're saying that you owe money on that's in collection status is actually a valid debt. The law doesn't state exactly what type of documentation you can ask for. This is kind of the gray area, but it's your legal right to contest the validity of any account on your credit report. And so by doing that, asking for exact documentation as the seven points that are listed on this dispute letter helps you to identify clearly what you need, which will make it much harder for most data furnishers to actually be able to verify those documents. And that's why we're gonna be able to get the best results of getting these accounts removed permanently off your credit report. All right, now we've talked about two dispute letters. That personal information letter, you're going to send out certified mail first. That letter needs to go out certified mail so that you can track it in case they say they never received your dispute. You will have tracking. Now I know certified mail costs like four bucks or more per dispute letter, so it can get a little expensive, but trust me, it's very important. The second letter we just talked about, the validation letter, you're also going to send in certified mail, but send it about five days after you send the personal information dispute. That way it's a little bit further back in the queue when they receive it. They've already typically already looked at your personal information dispute, and then they're going to look at this validation dispute. Next thing I want you to do is screenshot this letter right here. Now, lastly, take a screenshot of this dispute letter. Now, after you've waited 30 to 45 days from sending the personal information dispute and the validation dispute letter, you're going to send this dispute letter if the account hasn't been removed. Now, this letter is so important because this is what's going to force them to delete the account because now at this point, they know they haven't sent information and they haven't provided proof of this account and you're threatening litigation if they haven't done it. And this really, really helps turn up the heat and get the results you want. Look, full disclosure, nothing with credit repair is guaranteed, but if you want to have the best success rate, you really have to follow, either follow my lead or do your due diligence and research to get the best results. Again, as I said, we've been in business 10 years and it took us seven to perfect the dispute letter we're using now, and I'm giving that information away for free. Follow, like the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.